It's been about 12 years since we first came to OKC and we went to Leo's Barbecue, where he made that strawberry cake and he made the ribs. You remember that? Oh, that was good. But I can't figure out how I missed a joint that's been doing it for 67 years. They've been doing this country cooking and they're getting known now for something called yam fried chicken. Oh, that's right up my alley. This is Florence's restaurant. Smother pork chops. There's no place like Florence's in the heartland. I have chicken and dumplings. Country classic. It's like my grandmother would have fixed back in the day when we were kids. How'd you find this place? Man, this place has been around since the 50s. Which is when Florence Kemp started cooking up her brand of Southern Comfort here at the age of 20. And she's still stirring the pot with the help of her daughter, Victoria. How many generations of families do you get coming through here? We see fourth generation customers. It's gonna make you feel fantastic. Yes. I was born and raised in the South, and when I came here, I knew I'd found the Mecca. Fried rib appetizer. The fried ribs are really a unique kind of experience. It's a light breading. It's not too thick. The barbecue sauce is amazing. What are we going to make today? Fried ribs. Like pork ribs? Yes. How do you know that's my middle name? <laughs> Guy Fried Rib Fieri. How do you want to start? We cut these ribs. So these are spare ribs, or St. Louis-style ribs. Mm -hmm. Has this uh, fried rib always been on the menu? No. My dad used to live with me, and he got old, and I have to go home and try to fix his dinner. And so this is something I could fix quick. He was 105. Holy yeah. moly. So we go from the lemon juice and vinegar into the water. Mm-hmm. Now this is going to brine for a day? The longer it stays, better. The longer, the better. So when it gets done, we put the salt and pepper on it. Now we're going to make the house seasoned for our fried ribs. First, we start with flour. This is the salt. Cornstarch. There we go. Baking powder, pepper. And then we put that all over the ribs? Yes. OK. Then we fry the ribs for 15 minutes. How many come with an order, Florence? Three or four. Who makes the laws around here? Oh, my daughter thinks that she's the mother now, and I'm the daughter. <laughs> Are we going to serve these with anything? Barbecue sauce. OK. I'm following the lead. I know you're the boss. I like that. <laughs> Take this water and pour it in Okay, the pot. gonna do put the water in the pot. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're gonna put all of these dry ingredients. The sugar, looks like a little onion powder. Mm -hmm. So a little barbecue spice, okay, a little cumin, mm -hmm. a little mustard. Oh, we are a team. Look at us go, Flo. Oh yeah. A little liquid smoke. Water or really bad moonshine? It's vinegar. <laughs> now we'll go ketchup. We'll let this cook down, and then when the ribs come out, we'll get them with the sauce. Looking good. That's tasty. Not too much batter, nice and juicy. I think the key was that you soaked them in the vinegar. Got a nice little flavor from that. How do you like that sauce? Oh, there's good tang in that sauce, ma'am. Thank you. I'm going to have more fried ribs. <laughs> fried rib appetizer, enjoy. It's already a good rib, but when you put that batter on top of it, it just takes it over the top. Everybody should try a fried rib, right? Fried chicken right now, and the hot grease. You're a local food writer. What is it about Florence's? The world moves really fast, but it doesn't here. Florence is always here. I mean, it's an inspiration for how good you can get if you take the time to do it that long. When they ask, what do you want, I said, I want your yam fried chicken. You've never tasted something that is so moist, so good, and so flavorful. What are we making now? Yam fried chicken. I don't know what yam fried chicken means, so I'm just going to follow you. We're going to first take it and season it though, with salt and pepper. And then we also have a little seasoning in the flour, too. Mm -hmm. How old are those Dutch ovens there, Florence? Oh, I wore about five or six of them. I don't think I've ever heard of anybody wearing out a, a Dutch oven. I think you probably wore out some people that have worked here. I think there have been people that come to work here and that have had to go retire, and you're still working. Yes. And they ask me all the time when I'm going to retire. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Not soon, I hope. Some of the people that work here told me that you once in a while you quit. When I get mad at them, I, was, I don't work anymore. <laughs> and where do you go? Nowhere. <laughs> oh, I got to try that. I quit. And we're going to make candy yams out of these. A bunch of cooked yams. But all of this sugar in there. It's a lot of sugar, ma'am. You're in for a treat. Add some butter. After a while, it'll turn into syrup. Anything else we're going to serve with this? We got greens. Collard greens? Yes. I'm going to put these in the pot, and then I'll pour all of this water in, baking soda. There's the sugar, salt. Chicken stock? We put all of that stock in. They're going to cook about an hour and a half. Plain old fried chicken's good for me, but now we're going yam fried chicken. We've already put our yams on the plate. Okay. Take the collard greens. OK, good. Right in the sauce you go. Now you try that. All right. You invented that? Yes. Delicious. You really season your chicken well. There's a lot of flavor in that pot. I love collard greens. 
Nice and tender, not mushy. Perfectly cooked chicken, tender candied yams, and you, package deal. Fantastic. I need that yam fried chicken. Amazing, tender and juicy on the inside. The yam sauce just made it so delicious. And how about the collards? I have them every time I come here, and I come here from two to three times a week. Fried chicken, I needed it 15 minutes ago. I'm right behind. So in OKC, this is a must go to. Absolutely. You have to try it. All your taste buds are just going to come alive at one time. You're a big personality. You walk softly and carry a big stick. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> I resemble that remark. Thank you very much for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Watch out for Florence. She quit, she'll be back. <laughs>